Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Just a bit of updates on the Jamaica Under-17 team that is presently in Trinidad in the CFU Under-17 final round. Now, the Jamaicans are currently at the top of the group with four points. Haiti is behind them, also on four points. Trinidad and Tobago on three points and Bermuda is at the foot of the table in that group on, three, on zero points without registering a point. What has happened over the past couple of days? The Jamaicans secured a 6-2 victory over Bermuda. Despite that emphatic victory, coach Andrew Edwards has stressed that he was not pleased by the way the team executed. He was happy with the result, but the performance he felt that he gave that the Jamaicans gave the Bermudans more space to operate with. And when we were attacking in the final third, there was a sort of a selfish play, you could say, where individualism were a player wanted to be the star and shift up five, six sort of players so that they can get their name on the score sheet. The second game against Haiti was a nil-nil draw and it was a much more disciplined display from Jamaica. And now many people may say, well, why didn't we beat Haiti? Because they were down to 10 men. Let's not forget, Haiti is the best under-17 team in the Caribbean, hands down. So getting a nil-nil draw against them, especially for me, I applaud them. A good result at the end of the day. So all we need to do now is avoid vict avoid defeat against Trinidad and Tobago to secure a spot not only in the semi-finals of this tournament but also secure a spot in the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship which will take place next year in Panama. And then from there the top four CONCACAF teams will represent the region in the Under-17 FIFA World Cup in India. Wonderful isn't it? Although we are a few steps away from India, we're making baby steps in that direction. I believe that the players are acquitting themselves to Andrew Edwards' tactics and philosophy. And I do believe they're starting to mesh better. And comparing this team to the squad that Andrew Edwards had two years ago, I believe this team is a little further ahead in preparation. Although the talent pool may be a little bit less than what we had two years ago, the preparation is much better. And at the end of the day, you need more than just talent to qualify for the World Cup. You need players that are willing to work hard for you and will get the job done for you. Look what, look what Leicester City did this season. I mean, last season. Look what Blackburn Rovers did 1995, 1990, 1994, 1995 season. Talent is the desire to practice and work hard. It's more than just the individual rawness of talent inside of you. That, that does well, especially at this level where these players are budding professional football players. They still need to work hard. And I do, I'm do. i confident on the coach Andrew Edwards that he'll get them to the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. And not only that, but I believe this team has the ability to get to India. It's going to take hard work, but I do believe that the possibility is there. Andrew Edwards, to me, is one of the best youth coaches, not only in Jamaica, but the Caribbean. I'll go even far and say that. And he's cementing himself, in my opinion as well, in CONCACAF. One of the best youth coaches in CONCACAF. That's how highly I rate this coach. There's not many local coaches in Jamaica that I give many plaudits to, but Andrew Edwards gets my vote every day of the week. Hands down. I'm Simon Preston, this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Predictions for tomorrow's game against Trinidad and Tobago. Are we going to secure a victory? Are we going to draw with them just so that we could ease our passage into the semi-finals? Who would you want us to play in the semi-finals? What about the other group that has the likes of Cuba, Guadeloupe, we're talking about, so Suriname, you know? Let me know your all of those thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary on YouTube.